and we're live. Oh, ta -ta -da -da. hey everybody. Welcome to Lunch Break with ATI. I'm Cindy Collins, one of the co-founders here at Actors Theatre of Indiana, uh, the resident professional theater company at the Center for the Performing Arts in Carmel, Indiana, USA. And today I have my good friend Scott Osborne. Hello everyone. Scott is awesome and uh, he is also the producer of this show. So he's producing as he's being interviewed today. So he is a man of many talents. <laughs> Right. I'll do my best. Yes, well, you certainly will. Um, Scott stepped in. Thank you, Scott. You're awesome. Hey. Um, uh, it was supposed to be Brian Frost. I guess Brian just forgot. So, um, <laughs> and is not here. So, uh, Scott is here, and you are awesome. As always. I am so, I cannot tell you how happy I am to have you sitting in this seat today. Well, Yay! thank you. I'm happy to be here. Because I always enjoy my time with you. Um, but let's... Let's hold on. Let me do a little business okay. before you and I get into it. Let's. So, um, <laughs> next up for ATI uh, production wise is Forbidden Broadway. And uh, ATI's done that show, I guess, about this might be the fifth production of it, and it's always different. It's the spoofs on Broadway theaters, uh, Broadway shows. And uh, my dear friend Billy Kimmel will be directing it once again, and Billy will actually be in the cast this time, which will be absolutely wonderful. He did it off-Broadway for years. And um, so that is April 24th to May 12th at the Studio Theater. And uh, during that time, uh, April 10th will be the 24-25 season announcement for ATI. So that is going to be April 10th. Very exciting. Uh, the artistic director, Judy Fitzgerald, and associate artistic director, Darren Murrell, plan the season, as the artistic directors do uh, for ATI. And it just sounds like it's just going to be an absolutely wonderful, wonderful season. So um, very exciting. So that is April 10th. Okay, business done. Now, Scott Osborne. Scott yes. is a local artist. Uh, very, very good. Oh, thanks. Working usually, would you work with steel? Steel mainly, yeah. St mostly steel. But he throws all kinds of elements in his art. But he has had his uh, art displayed in Carmel. He has been commissioned to do a few pieces. Mm -hmm. And one used to be on Main Street. Yep. And that, that was removed, unfortunately, because I loved it. Luckily, I mean... But it gives you time, you know what, if you want to use it for anything else. It gives you time to spruce it up. Yep. I know you wanted to make some changes to it. Didn't you want to coat it with something? Say, I, say I what was, you wanted to do with that. I wanted to powder coat it, but I, I felt lucky to have it there for as long as it was yeah. there. It's supposed to be an annual spot, and I got six years out of it. So Oh, I, I didn't know yeah. it was that long. Oh, yeah. And oh, my gosh. Yeah, so I, I, no complaints on that one. Yeah. But but I can complain about it. <laughs> you can complain all you want. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, there were uh, two on the Monon as well. Yep. yep. And uh, currently the Historical Society is under yeah. construction. Yeah, so, tell about that one. That's really uh, cool. Yeah, both of the sculptures that were outside there had to be moved. Um, yeah. So they weren't destroyed in the yeah. construction process. Yeah. Um, but they are going back to the same location um the butterfly garden with you know the life cycle of the monarch butterfly yeah it's this gorgeous is going, butterfly you built it's really stunning oh thank you um it's going right back where it was and then the kinetic piece uh blossoming is going inside of the museum mm -hmm. Um, Talk about which is, that, how you made that. That's really cool. So Very that's, inventive. It's talking about the Monon's past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. And um, it starts with the past being the whole sculpture is constructed of uh, railroad signs that they had retired and saved and yeah. kept with, you know. And, and when I was commissioned the project, they looked at me and they, they said, we want you to use this and we want it to move and go crazy. And so, um, Go nuts. yeah, and one of the biggest elements of that project was this um, counterweight that used to block traffic. Yeah. And so there was the the yes. sign, yes. which was also part of the project. Yes. Like it was As used, the train was it was used in the, the sculpture. The yeah. Comes down. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And they really wanted this, you know, 150 pound counterweight to be used somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, and so that's where I kind of started off and with its um, unique shape, uh, by removing a little bit of it, I was able to see this kind of leaf form mm -hmm. out of that shape. And, and that kind of inspired the rest of the project to being a, 
a blossoming flower. So going back to the past, present, and future of the Monon, it's uh, the Monon Railroad followed by using bike wheels as bearings, gears, yeah. and yeah. Um, roller blade wheels as, you know. <laughs> and the old signs. You have the old signs. Oh, yeah. All it. the old signs were bent and cut and, and, and maneuvered. So the, the history of the Monon's in the project. Yeah. And then um, the current state of the Monon at the time, because um, the whole area was under construction when right. I built it. Right. Um, so at the time, it was still just more of a path which is in reference of all the bike wheels, roller blade wheels right, right. that were used as bearings yeah, and gears yeah. and stuff. So that's talking about the present. And then the future is how, and now it, the future is here, because the beautification of the Monon was represented in the floral shape as well. Yeah. So, um, and yeah. when you think of like, you know, beauty, floral, flowers are, are it's you outside, know. outside, it's on the Monon. It's, it's, and it, you, you, you cr it cranks. Yeah, it? yeah, it's so you spin a wheel. A person could touch it and actually crank it. Yeah, and, and then the flower opens up yeah. and, and closes so as you spin spin that it's wheel. It's really cool. Uh, like a blossoming flower, so. And that um, will be. And that's talking about the Monon's future. That's right. Which is here. That's right, and that's it's gonna now. be, it's so cool. That, that piece of art will now be in the museum. Yes. Third floor? Third what? floor is what I heard, yes. But, you know, the museum's not done. We're, we're still going to wait and nobody's, see. Yeah. It's being built. Yeah. I mean, it's it's happening. Yeah. And so that will be there, plus your butterfly. Mm -hmm. all, on the outside. All that on the outside where yep. it was With inside. all the milkweed and so that. Oh, it, yeah. It's an actual oh. butterfly garden with the steel butterfly around it. Yeah, I, I, I just think it's incredible, oh. especially this thing he's got going with the the blossoming and the because uh, it was there for a while and then they had to remove it because they're building the museum like you said mm -hmm. which is they fantastic. moved the whole building and they picked up that old building oh, and moved it oh, down oh, the street because the old <laughs> train station is right over here yeah. sitting here near shannon doors yeah waiting to be put back yep I'm which glad. i love that they're they're adding on but keeping the history well you have to oh, yeah. and that's the problem with some towns and i've seen it happen where i grew up the history is fading mm-hmm uh, historical buildings are being knocked down. They're being, they don't, nobody cares. You know, y you have to care about the history. Yeah. There's no way you can move forward without knowing your past and knowing your history where you live. And it repeats itself. So if we don't, you know, we're just going to run into the it, same it problems it otherwise. Cer it certainly does. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, let me, so let me talk about this other project you had, which I was like gobsmacked about. Um, <laughs> you had, you were also commissioned to build this huge chitty chitty bang bang car. Hi, yi yi. And uh, <laughs> I was lucky enough to see that at your studio, mm -hmm. at your shop, in the different stages. And I appreciated your help drastically. Thank you for so coming in and glued some things. She, That's all I did. She was great. So, but it was great because it really is so interesting and I, I love that stuff. Um, and I love working with my hands. You know, working with your hands is kind of therapeutic. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure it's therapy for you too. You're working on a project, you're building, you're making it. Mm -hmm. It's your creation. So when it's done, you're like, wow, I did that. I built that. Yeah, it, that's my favorite part is, you know? uh, is looking back at the, the final product. I, and it's my least favorite part too, because mm -hmm. I see every single flaw, but it, it's that standing back and just being mm -hmm. like, Oh, look at this. And, and it's actually, uh, it's best to look at it a month later. That's true. Um, when when all of those nitty gritties that you mm. you didn't quite get just the way you wanted yeah. are kind of out of your mind and you just see that final product and it's mm. like, that was cool. You know, yeah. like, I, yeah, yeah, like I haven't touched it in a month and I'm just. You got to give your mind a rest and yeah. go back and look at it. Because when you're looking at, and I know you do this because you're like, that wasn't right. That wasn't right. I should have done this. And be a little perfectionist I, at the times. The next time I do something like that. I'm going to, well, which is very good because you're improving. <laughs> so you're like, the next time I do it, I'm going to add this. Or I'm going to do this differently. Did you get an entire motor in there? <laughs> yeah, from was... a jazzy <laughs> or something, right? Yeah. A motor? Yeah, it was motorized. Oh my uh, God, you had these pulleys the, and the wings came out. Yep, they pop, the wings popped worked. out. Smoke came out of the front. <laughs> the lights turned on on a switch. Uh, sheet metal. It was, was totally metal and painted and... I'm telling you, that car was so cool, and it was used for um, at the Cat. Mm -hmm. What is that theater company that uh, uses the Cat? The Carmel Apprentice Theater. Okay, so they did Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and mm -hmm. they commissioned Scott to do it, and you did. Mm -hmm. it must and have they're taken actually the sending it out. They're sending it out to other. And now they're renting. Well, it. that was actually one of the yeah. most difficult parts: is to turn an 18-foot car, mm -hmm. um, huge vehicle, at any 
uh, yeah. at, at, at any time or scale mm -hmm. and get it down to a 24 foot stage, which meant that I had to shrink the car down into an 11 foot body, but uh -huh. uh, still fit four people. four people and still, well, the use a wheelchair that had um, a, a weight distribution of about 600 pounds and get that. That was to, the motor. That, that was, was the motor, the motor and, yeah. and distribute that weight out to hold about uh, 2000 um, after all the, the body work. And so, so oh there's caster God. wheels under there that are supporting things to where it, yeah. the wheels are hardly touching, which is what makes that still the maneuver rotation, on stage. Yeah. And the best part is, is that wheelchair was central into yes. the car. Yeah, I remember so there was. was no turn radius. It just yeah. spun on a 360 <laughs> axis, so cool. uh, which meant that it could do a, a, a five and a half foot turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Oh, you know, um, what is there anything happening now? Besides, uh, well, you, here, you're here with me. You're yeah, doing this show. Doing you know. this, and uh, I've got Monday's show as well. Yeah, that's right. Um, you do so um, two a week. the Omnibus, right? Mm -hmm. That show. Yep. Um, every Monday. What's going on in your shop? Anything? Well, big changes, actually. Uh, this this week, I've uh, knocked down two walls. I've uh, completely what expanded walls? Walls? the ceramics room to my uh, open studio spaces. Those two little rooms? Yeah. Um, I knocked down uh, oh, no, the wall the in between wall in there. In between them. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, opened up the connection point to the shop and my uh, project room. Oh my, okay. So that there's a five by seven foot uh, connection door okay. um, in there, and uh, really this this expansion of the I, I've, yeah I've been working on the shop, and I also installed an wow. eight by four uh, conveyor storage belt, uh, system. So it basically works like kind of like a garage door, just goes up and down, but it's an eight by four platform that goes all the way up to the ceiling, and I've got probably ten pieces of eight by four in different material, uh, wood, metal, and foam. Um, so all of the, God. all of my storage solutions were solved this week as well. Right, because um, you brought things up. Yeah, obviously, yeah. and you've been storing. Finished that on Friday, so not technically it's this wow. week. But um, that's and then you knocked down the wall you came on Monday. Friday, what was it? Friday night. Friday night, like, I was I'm covered. A mess. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, what are you doing? I was covered in. Yeah. in, in uh, so the wall metal in between, dust. yeah, you had like other artists mm -hmm. in there, another artist in there. Yeah, doing. Her, is she still? Is she, she's not anymore. Okay, but she was in that office. Yep. And then there was, a, there was a ceramics. I mean, he makes pottery, too. Okay? <laughs> Come on. So that middle wall was knocked down, so that's one big room. Yep. And then there's a work area you have, but there was a wall in between that and another work area. Exactly. So I combined those into one 24 by 14 room. So did you knock that? You couldn't have knocked that whole wall yeah, down. Yeah. I, I actually, I got it done in an hour and a half. I you felt knocked really... that whole big wall down? Yeah, in between those two studio those spaces. Those two studios. Yeah. There was and... no bearing? Bearing? Oh, no, no weight bearing. bearing. It's all uh, done with the ceiling. It's, it's double scaffold. The ceiling. Yeah. Um, so that's a good idea. You yeah. needed that. It makes for more room. Yeah. And um, it, rather than in my office being, you know, the place I run the business, yeah. which was supposed to be my studio as well, but it felt more like business. So mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm developing that into a open studio space for other artists as well as myself as You're well as what? being able to teach lessons in there and oh that one you you opened up yeah so it's oh. a 20 yeah 24 by 14 yeah, yeah, now yeah. And other little rather than a 10 up. by 10 and a 14 by 14. Yeah, that's nice um that's nice yeah, yeah that's, that's how'd you get oh god scott that i just so, pulled the trigger it was super it sporadic so on much work just like oh this. no 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 sporadic. like i said it was an hour and a half <laughs> yeah here i am sporadically <laughs> um but oh my god. uh yeah it, it was uh it was uh, about seven o'clock at yeah. on Monday night, yeah, and uh, yeah. it was just like, you know, what, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and um, it uh, it came sometimes down. that's the best. I don't know. Sometimes that stuff that happens. I the have best. no you regrets. Just sporadically do something and it works, and you get it done. The funny part you know? though is I took my saw and ran up the wall, oh. trimmed my lines out. Oh god! And then I stopped and looked at it, and it was because I could fix. That's just a quick spackle of the line. Yeah, yeah. That was the real decision of, do I take the sledge to it next? You know, like I, I had already cut oh the whole thing God. out. It was just like, all right, now I have to really decide if I'm going to commit to this. <laughs> and that sledgehammer came out. Yeah. <laughs> Here you are, Thor. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think it's all cool. I think it's great what you're doing. You're in Carmel. Well, thank you. Uh, Scott is local. You know, he could go anywhere he wants, but he's here in Carmel. Um, commission him. He's he's excellent. If you need anything done, 
obviously he works in so many mediums. He's, you know, steel, yes, but the, the pottery and what, I mean, really you can work in anything, mm -hmm. honestly. Any woodworking too. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, you, you can A lot do, of foam. A lot oh of foam work. Oh my God, the foam. Yeah. Yeah, the foam. That gets a little messy, but you do it. Um, but really, uh, you kind of, you kind of work in, with all different I started out as an illustration Textures, major. right. I back mean, back in college. Yeah. 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 Heron. 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 Yep. Yeah. But you also have to know how to draw because you're drawing your designs. Yeah, you plan it. So out. you have to. It's like an architect. An yeah. architect. You must be an artist that way too. Yeah. On the page. Yeah. You know. It's funny how sloppy those initial drawings now mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's yeah. it's just get it on paper, get the measurements out. And it used to be all about how that final image looked, and now it's right. like you know yeah. I look at these, it's like. It, it makes sense, but it's it's just like wow. I used to spend all of my time doing that, <laughs> right, and not right. anything does. Right, right. But, well, you don't want to get stuck in the weeds sometimes. sometimes oh yeah. You just have to be like, look, I gotta just start, and I gotta just move ahead. And it's sometimes I'm not gonna be happy with this little thing, that little thing, but you know, you know what I mean. Oh, I mean, yeah. something big, you you definitely want to fix. But if we start looking, I do it too. <laughs> all of our mistakes, and I'm oh. like, oh god, I mean, you know, I can't watch myself perform. I'm like, oh god. It and makes you cringe a little bit. It, it does. It's like make, hearing yourself on the totally phone. Totally makes me cringe. I hear my voice. I'm like, oh my god, mm -hmm. I can't stand it. But you're right. Sometimes when you see it, you'll may, might see some footage a year later or something. Or I'm like, okay, it's not, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Not that bad. Oh, yeah, all right. you get an yeah. appreciation because okay, yeah, okay. You, you nitpick yourself. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. All, it, the, all, the all the time. time. Yep, all and, the time. And oh, if I spend an extra mm -hmm. twenty minutes practicing that, yeah. or you know, or, or yeah. working on that, yeah. uh, you know, putting in the extra effort, it, it's, you know, you put in a lot of effort, and you got to remember <laughs> how much you put into yeah. it, and not yeah. beat yourself up over that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hard to do. Hard to do. I, I think it's hard to do for a lot of people who yeah. are perfectionists and want to do the best in their profession. You when know, you notice life. things, you know, like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's what? why they pay us the big bucks, well, right? Oh my <laughs> gosh, we're making by the minute. <laughs> we're making money, not. Um, <laughs> but we don't care. We do it for the love of it, right uh -huh. here at the ATI podcast. Don't sure wait. do. Um, <laughs> all right. So listen, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, you're awesome. Thank you. You're better. Thank you for st no, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you for stepping in. My pal Scott Osborne, local artist. Uh, please commission him. And don't forget, again, Forbidden Broadway, running April 24th to May 12th. The season announcement of the 24-25 season will be April 10th. That's going to be wonderful. Um, and uh, Cindy Collins, again, Cindy Collins. Scott Osborne. Scott Osborne, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us, and have a great week. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. Go outside. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. <laughs>